Dear professional, welcome to my presentation. Today I am talking about audit charter and audit engagement. Audit charter is a document approved by senior management that defines the purpose, authority and responsibility of the internal IS audit and assurance activity. The IS audit and assurance function shall document the audit function appropriately in an audit charter indicating purpose, responsibility, authority and accountability. Audit engagement is a specific audit assignment, tax or review activity such as an audit, control self-assessment review, fraud examination or consultancy. An audit engagement may include multiple tax or activities designed to accomplish a specific set of related objectives. An engagement letter addresses the independence of auditor. Now, comparison between audit charter and audit engagement letter. An audit charter is a high-level document affirming the duties, responsibilities and authority of the audit function. And an engagement letter is specific to a particular audit assignment. For audit charter, an audit charter describes all the scopes for audit activities of an organization. On the other hand, an engagement letter describes a particular audit activity that needs to be undertaken to achieve a specific objective of an audit. Audit charter's purpose is to grant the right to audit and delegate responsibility, authority and accountability. The purpose of an engagement letter is to set expectations on both sides of the agreement. Audit charter is a general document whereas an engagement letter is specific to the audit being conducted. Audit charter provides guidance both to an external as well as internal party and engagement letter is especially for external parties. This is a sample document of internal audit charter. This document contains the section mission, purpose, professionalism, authority, then organization, independence and objectivity responsibility, internal audit plan, reporting and monitoring, quality assurance and improvement program, referrals, review of the internal audit and this is a sample document of audit engagement letter here audit scope, audit objectives, then management responsibilities audit procedures general audit procedures internal control audit procedure compliance audit administration fees and others approval these types of section here are two sample question on internal audit charter and audit engagement letter. Our first sample question is responsibility for the coordination of internal audit and external audit efforts should be documented in the option A engagement work schedule, option B internal audit charter, option C internal assessment report, option D internal audit activities strategic plan. So according our previous discussion both internal and external audit efforts should be documented in the internal audit charter. So the correct answer is B. Our next question is the audit engagement letter generally should include a reference to each of the following except option A limitation of auditing, option B responsibilities of management with respect to audit work, option C expectation of receiving a written management representation letter and option D a description of the auditor's method of sampling selection. So according 
our previous slide, the correct answer is D. Thank you for watching this video.